guys, welcome to another bucket plugin tutorial, and today it's on Hoth Generator. So this is a really interesting plugin that allows you to recreate um, the land of Hoth from Star Wars in your Minecraft server. So um, it's a really interesting plugin that uh, you can config fully. Oh, there's so many things, it's crazy. So the main thing is um, there are lots of different um, custom world generator options. So if you look on the wiki, there are lots of different things that can spawn. So there are bases, ice mountains, normal mountains, ice caves, gardens, ancient mazes, domes, ice spikes and skeletons. And you can also add your own schematics in, which hopefully I will be able to show you later. So uh, to create this, if you've got multi, um, multiverse, you're going to want to do this command. So this is the name and this is the generator you use. Um, so that's quite straightforward, so then hit enter and uh, it'll start creating and then we're going to MVTP to Hoth so here we go so um, here we have spawned in a dry, dried ravine or river which looks quite cool uh, let's get a speed of 10 uh, so we can have a look around so we got some small ice mountains here some ice spikes that's quite interesting um, I fiddled with some of the uh, percentages how likely things are to spawn uh, these are huge snow plains, not much on them, more dried riverbeds. Uh, I'm going to go to, um, there's nothing around here, I'm going to go to Warp Base, which uh, is a, a nice base I found earlier. So uh, this is really interesting, in here there are villagers, hello, uh, there's equipment like furnaces and crafting tables, beds and other things. So down here we can see there are even bits going off loot chests which you can set, I'll show you that in a minute uh, another villager, hello there Ooh, what are you selling? of course, a bit of a rip off, so uh more loot chests, ooh acacia saplings, that's quite interesting so this is a really awesome plugin um, would be great to make uh, a survival or even faction server, that, <laughs> that'd be so funny and here we have some of the evil stormtroopers um, locked away, so let's keep them in here more loot chests with some really interesting pieces of loot here. A uh, mob spawner, obviously, and uh, let's go up here. So drop that down there. So uh, you get the picture. Let's just smash our way upwards. Ooh, that's cool. And we are up here. So uh, here are some ice spikes, and don't they look amazing? It's just such a really cool plugin. Um, I wish I had some shaders on, because that would look even better. But there are both different types of ice. There is the compressed ice and the normal ice that is partially translucent. And uh, yeah, there's a couple more things in game. But we're going to hop over to the config right now and have a look what's in it really. So here we are in the plugins folder where the Hoth generator um, folder has been created. So in here there are lots of different uh, files with different uh, file types. So we're going to hop into config first after quickly looking at Hoth. Uh, this has got nothing in, it's just got locations, you don't need to worry about the text document. Let's go into the YML file. So in here uh, you can set quite a few interesting things. So things to do with um, lots of different uh, rarities and other options down here. So here we have your simple structures that are like um, domes, bases, um, oasises. Uh, no, away sigh, I should say. Uh, skeleton, so uh, one is um, common, ten is rare. So bear, bear that in mind when you set them. Just depends what you like. And uh, you can go down here, just set what you want. True, false, yes, no. So if you were doing survival, I'd set that to true. So this is really cool. Now uh, you can freeze players and uh, do lots of things here. Add custom text, so... Um, maybe add even custom um, prefix, so and 8, square brackets, and then hop and 8 square brackets, so this, this would look really nice if you created a server using this. Lots of different bit, bits here, and here you can add um, more animals, so um, lots of different ones, there aren't really any snow animals, I can't think of any, so you could add maybe zombie, um, creeper, but we want skeleton. So yeah, that's interesting. Lots of configuring you can do here. Very straightforward. He explains it up here really well. It must have taken a very long time. So, uh, we're done with this. So let's go into custom. Right, in here we have 
couple of things, not much in here. So uh, here you can set custom loot items, so um, those loot chests that you can find randomly. <clears throat> so here, uh, if you copy and paste this, it's much easier to get the formatting correct. So maybe diamond. Uh, the material ID, so what's that? 264. Um, 264. Then the data, so that's zero, so that's fine. Um, the minimum minimum amount and the maximum amount, so let's say 12 is the max. And probability, so 50%. Yeah, that's fine. So it's very straightforward. Um, and you can set however many you want here, really. So uh, you can even set this um, to custom names. So if I do it again, let's just copy and paste this. And um, stone block. You don't leave a space there, that will mess it up. So if I set this to stone, stone hat. So you can set the name to whatever you want and it will not mess it up. So that's nice. Example.sm now. So um, this looks really confusing. God, look at this, looks like binary. Uh, so scroll up, here we go. So this is to do with schematics. Uh, I'll be looking into this soon. And uh, you don't need to really um, do this yet. But let's go into ores. It's quite simple. Uh, you can change which ores spawn and which don't. So uh, iterations is the number of veins per chunk. Um, max height, you know that. It's very simple. Data zero because they haven't got like colon one uh, ores. So that's interesting. And uh, yeah, you can change that if you wish. Um, maybe we could make gold ore um, a lot more. So maybe forty and uh, more iterations, 20, it's just whatever you want. So basically change these N2 columns, amount, max height, and iterations. Are probably the ones you're going to want to change. So close that, and uh, let's go in game to sort one last thing out. So we're back in the game now, and here I have downloaded a lovely snow speeder. So what we're going to do, we're going to add this to the custom terrain generator so it can randomly spawn. So what we're going to want to do is uh, select a cuboid, so uh, let's go to this point, like so, and uh, go all the way up here, like so. So this is similar to um, another terrain, custom terrain generating plugin, so you can add your own bits and bobs. So then we're going to want to do host, host export, and uh, then the file name, so we'll call it speeder. And there we go, it says exported. And now this will be in a file in the folder we just looked in. So let's go there now. So in the custom file now, we look in the example.sm. And this is what we want it to look like. So this is just showing us what we could uh, put it like. So if we close this down and go in speeder. Uh, first of all, you want to <coughs> rename it to speeder.sm. It's very important that it's an SM file or it won't be able to read it. And you click edit and whoa, look at all those zeros. Oh my god. It's crazy. So, uh, looks like binary. Oh my god. So, ignore this. That is just what it is made up of. What we want is this part here. So, if we do look in, um, where is the example.sm? Here we go. So, here we write the numbers that we want. So, uh, you can just put numbers here depending on what rarity you want. So let's use example as an example. So uh, let's have a look at some of these numbers and recreate them. So uh, maximum loot, yep, two seems legitimate and uh, 25 maximum. So uh, you can change these. Make sure you uh, get everything right. So uh, let's leave that blank like so, uh, random, 25, uh, rarity, 2, so uh, in the example.sm it actually tells you, so um, here we go, uh, random must be above 0, and below the rarity value, okay, so um, yeah, so we need to set this to about 200, or 50, just depends what you want, it's very simple, so uh, make sure you keep going back to this to make sure you are um, doing it correctly. So we've done everything here. Um, I think that is most of it. So type, fantastic, 
Facing world zero on surface. So um, we saved ours just above the surface. So um, we're going to probably want to set it to zero. So type is going to be zero, and uh, I believe that's it. Apart from the matrix, which uh, I suppose we could um, edit if we wanted to. Your um, sensor schematic block type and data matrix. So yeah, you can do that if you want. Uh, I'm going to leave it blank for now. But there you go. Um, that's how you do everything. Uh, that is everything I believe in the config files, and that is basically the whole plugin. So um, if you've got any confusion, um, try the developer. If I don't know how to solve it. He's worked very hard on this plugin, and I uh, can't wait to see what he adds to it, because at the moment it's really, really cool. I mean, look at those mountains, they just look really nice. So, um, I've got exams soon, as I said. Make sure you subscribe. Um, I'm nearly on 2,000. Uh, I might be in by now, or I might be a few off, so get subscribing. Hit the like button, and I'll see you on Sunday with my first mod showcase video. Thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. Why not click one of the other videos on the left or the right to check out some of my other plugins that I reviewed? As always, subscribe, like, and comment. Cheers.